I don't like the way this chuck is running on my lathe, so I don't want to bore this hole and put it more off center than possibly it would be naturally. Replacement uh, small side pulley for the compound Atlas lathe pulley for uh, Evil Twin X. And the problem that I had is the shaft hole is very close to the holes, which is the center set of holes, that allows us to bolt together this pulley. And the heads of the bolts would interfere with the shaft, which I was aware of. Um, so they would need to be ground down in diameter. And I decided to move those out a little bit and change the fasteners to number 8s, 832s instead of 1024s. So that'll make the uh, assembly a little smarter. Well, we're printing a, another pulley half here. This last one ended up with a high ridge running around it and I had a little mistake in my drawing. So I fixed that and we're printing another one for Evil Twin. Probably be sticking it in the mail tomorrow. You'll be seeing this video probably after I stick it in the mail. And here's the last minute of lines. Look at that beautiful part. Here's what we got the first time. Drawing mistake. Here's the correct part. The thing's cooling down right now. It's 61C out here. Now this is insulating that area of the glass, so it's quite a bit warmer. And I occasionally hear a little crack and a pop, which is that uh, the plastic breaking loose from the glass. Thick parts like this, you have to let them set. Thin stuff, you know, when the temperature gets down to 60 or 70, seems to come off easy. The thick stuff, you got to let it cool longer because this is insulating and cooling the whole thing. Get that little piece of debris off. While this was printing, I found this piece of debris on one of the early layers. I came in here and checked it and uh, knocked that off. Because it was sure going to foul up my print if I didn't. Awesome. So all i got to do is wait for the uh, fasteners to come in tomorrow. I'll pop this off here in a second and we'll, uh, we'll have a completed project. Heard a couple of loud pops. Let's see if it's loose. We're at uh, 55C right now. Look at that. She's loose. The glass side's always the smoothest side. It'd be nice to have this mating surface that smooth. A little touch with a sandpaper block will make it pretty, pretty flat, pretty nice. And I've made this this way so that I don't need any supports. Uh, you can't print things overhanging in the air without supports, and then these supports are difficult to break off, or at least I haven't learned how to do them well yet. So that's the last uh, printed part for Evil Twin X. Think that's a chuck? That's not a chuck. This is a chuck. Think that's a wrench? No, <laughs> this is a wrench. You think these are jaws? One of the things that excites me about this chuck is I have the reverse jaws for it. I want to make sure these are marked. Yep, there's a one. There's a two. And yes, the chuck is marked on its face. This should be one. This would be two, and that would be jaw three. And if I've timed that all out properly, it should all come to the middle at the same time. It looks like 
they are not. There we go. Bam. The reason I mounted up this chuck in those jaws is we need to bore this pulley. And we need to bore the pulley to fit this collar, which is just under an inch. We are at 993. And our bore is at 976. Now there's a limit to the accuracy of this pulley because it was printed on a 3D printer. I don't like the way this chuck is running on my lathe, so I don't want to bore this hole and put it more off center than possibly it would be naturally from 3D printing. So I've just simply deburred it. And I've got a little bit of a raised lip here. Put a little bit of a put a little bit of a lead on that. Until I work out what's going on with the chuck here. And I've already partially driven this in here. There's very little press fit on it, maybe two or three thousandths, which is fine for a plastic part. Doesn't take much for it to stick in there, so I think that can be pressed together just fine. We'll do the other side. Let's see, this one is reading 967 there, about 970 there. We got to get out to 994. Part of what I'm also doing is putting a square corner down on the bottom of the hole. A little bit of lead in. Get rid of any light raised edge. They should probably be sanded slightly on this surface because this wasn't against the glass when it was printed. that to Mr. Evil Twin. It's worth about 982. About 982. So Evil Twin, here's your uh, parts kit. This would be the outside surface of the pulley. Got a little oil in on it there. I'll try to clean up. This is the locking collar or the shaft collar. This long set screw is going to be used as a drive key in case this would ever slip. This pulley goes on top of that. The there's 1032 bolts in this outer circle that when you clearance drill these will come through these and thread into these holes that you're going to thread in this outer ring here. These will be clearance holes for 1032, clearance, I'm sorry, 1024, clearance holes. And they will thread into this part of the small pulley, the outer ring. This will have to be drilled and tapped for 1024. And then these two pieces make up the small pulley of the compound pulley. This gets drilled for 832 clearance and 832 threads in the inner ring. And that's the assembly order. It's important that there are no um, bolt heads here on this side. It possibly could be put together backwards, but those bolt heads will interfere with the belt. 
when it's on the small pulley, which is uh, mostly how you're going to use this. So I'll get it all packed up and get it off to you tomorrow. And uh, I wish you luck in getting it together. Well, there it is, folks. Most complicated 3D printing job I've ever done. Had a lot of mistakes and and uh, printed some hollow parts before I printed my solid ones just to see uh, what my plan looked like and whether it was going to be buildable. So I'm really enjoying messing around with the 3D printer and creating things out of plastic. And I will find some interesting uses for this tool. This is Crafted. Check it out. Evil Twin, here she goes. <laughs>